The original work of the autobiographical novel Ten Years of Marriage by Su King, a female writer in the Republic of China. Chapter 21 The last come forty still live alone in my apartment on Lencian Rodi once called Lingling. But her aunt kept her and refused to let her go. I'm silent and don't want to say a word and Li Tong Yudo comes to see me some at a mesolity speech lush can't think of any unspeakable sadness in my don't want to mention Colonel Z to him he didn't ask me either however. Every time I think about it I can't help but curse my angry expression was in a trance a little Ningbo went to the insurance company to do some work because the treatment here is too McGirth owner of the apartment finally gave him a small room to live in. Right across from my room because no one cooks for me just cooks them on the electric stove own day. I heard the sound of eggs being sold at the back door just run out and by it woman from Joe Ningbo also helped with the counter offer. The door to the room is not locked there is a leather bag in the cupboard there are more than a thousand US dollars in banknotes. This is the only savings I have recently taken out of the safe aim going to put some interest on it oh maintain the lives of mother, daughter, master and Servani picked up the eggs at that time. Then he went into the room to withdraw money. The leather bag is still good put in cup or take out the amount payable. I put it in the cupboard egg and kitchen door unlocked. So I boiled eggs and ate them after eating. I washed the dishes myself as of PM. When I opened the cupboard again to get a handkerchief, suddenly I found that my bag was missing. This anxiety is really no small Terry hurriedly ran to report to the police station at that time. Someone took me into the officia person from the detective's office asked if your purse was hidden somewhere else. Absolutely nobody remember it very clearly and I searched everywhere afterwards. I say for Sorba, are there really so many valuable US dollars in the bag? He asked again as if he suspected that I was here to blackmail him. Yes we do you put so many things in your purse? Because I want to sell it we don't you sell it? Because it's not too late yet side if sold earlier. But it's better so he asked me to fill out the form after a long time, he ordered another detective to follow me to investigate again. I told the detective everything about the circumstances before and after the loss. He also seemed to blame me for not causing more trouble like this. Say you went out to buy egg show can you not lock the kitchen door? I also know that I shouldn't be too careful. However, it is only myself who is harmed. It is different from situations that endanger public safety, such as fires, etc. And his responsibility is to solve the case for me would be superfluous to blame me for being careless. If everyone could be careful every own can stop being a thief we does the country still support police officers like you? Naturally. I don't dare to speak directly. I just beg him to try to find out for me. He slowly replied that it would be very difficult to investigate this matter. Are there any servants in the apartment? It seems that only servants can be the Vasey said there was a little Ningbo once upon a time. Now he's in an insurance company. He then asked you if you knew or saw anyone do it. I said of course I don't know. If I had seen it with my own eyes we don't you catch him immediately? He then said helplessly that I should bring something to check my fingerprints. Went there for about 10 minutes sure enough, he came again leave the paper, print. I said this paper seal is compared with whom? He said, I don't know either if you find any evidence in the future, you can come to report to the office we can ask him to come and compare his fingerprints he said, but you have to try to keep a suspect for me. He stretched his face and shook his head repeatedly. This matter will be difficult to handle no one has a thief written on his face and not thieves, just anyone in the apartment it can be said that everyone is suspected. But we can't mobilize all our troops because of you. How much does each person spend per day? It would be better if the amount you lost was larger. If you know the director or other senior staff or some ething in short, my only savings will never be recovered. I want to commit suicide I've had many opportunities to get money in the past but don't want to take it no I am losing my life for this mere tree. It's too unworthy Tomaro is. Ling Ling's birthday it's better to take her and Wang Ma back. Sean also learned the news greatly sent me 100,000 yuan boo what's the use? He told me that he would often help me in the future I said, I'm afraid Miss Chun Yu is too worried. It's better not to embarrass you sure enough, he stopped sending it, from now on. However, I still thanked him that day when he goes out lingling asked me about my mother aren't you going to get married with him again? I said no it's just that we are poor. I think it's better not to offend him lingling, if her mother has no food to eat you'd better go with dad. As usual Ling started crying me heart is about to break money is really a great thing it's easy to lose, but hard to earn. I had no choice but to sell my article again arguing over manuscript effies with other skeep writing still can't live. 
So I had to sell some things make up for it people don't believe Mayu thought I was just faking I'd I don't want to speak Aether life of a job seeker is rising day by day. We are still gritting our teeth Tong Yudo also lamented that my fate was too bad. But I can't help himself lives a life of chewing on vegetable roots Watts left, come to help a friend gradually. My body also changed often nausea Tady tried my best to hold it back Wang Ma is a person who has raised three boys and four girls. How embarrassed it would be to look at Harim finish Hetty think I really can't live any more articles have to be written every day. The mood is so body no it missile few will never be able to write anything good at this time. However, the manuscript fee is calculated on your own basis. I need it make it easier to write more good or bad, but it's not allowed to be considered. But what should we do about this matter? I have no one to discuss with it's the same as the Tao. He was shocked when he heard that without thinking he wants to ask his uncle to try to find Colonel Zai said indifferently for a long time found it what should I do, marry him. He hesitated for a moment suddenly shed tears wife I am a rich money bit my hand to stop him from talking. Because I know exactly what he means if he is a rich man it giving me money just prepare to marry Meho can I make mistakes? The wedding announcement between Sean and Miss Chun Yu was also published in the newspaper. A celebrity from political circles witnessed their marriage. The situation seems to be very lively and the opposite situation I'm so sick it's better to find a doctor quickly there is a foreign doctor is expert in gynecology I asked him to check it out. He pumped my piss out inject the mouse with a needleth rat's uterus indeed appeared to be swollen. He said that would prove that there was some kind of hormone in my urine. On his diagnosis sheath must have added a plus character have to find a way to do this. So I tried to borrow money from the newspaper Aphisopromise to give them manuscripts he finally managed to get the money together. I have to hand in the papers quickly because I'm afraid I can't pay my debts even if I die right now. My heart is brave like a despaired will be punished head an eye way. There is nothing to be reluctant to part with. What is placed before me is unlimited responsibilities were given to me by cruel men aimed just for mother's love. So I accepted it silent line of St. Childy feel like I have never been happy in my life marrying too early brings too much trouble I'm tired we does Zhao Ruigo often want to have children? All because he has money it is very convenient for rich people to be fathers but a mother without money that's really big trouble woe is willing to take these responsibilities on my behalf, who really loves me. However, where in the world can there be such people? They are all deceiving me. Maybe I will be deceived by my children in the future. All my hard work is in vain. Birth control is the basic condition for women's liberation. When it is absolutely necessary, scientific abortion methods are also worthy of praise. If a woman cannot control her uterus, can she still control a man's heart? How stupid I was in the past. Even if a person is honest, he cannot be so honest that he does not know his own danger. Why am I so careless? For my own pain. Why was I so careless? He committed a crime, and I had to take him to bear the punishment of heaven. How unfair it was. On a cold morning, Tong Yudo came to me. I was writing something at my desk, tears streaming down my face. What are you doing? He asked in panic, writing a will. I answered that he was so scared that his lips turned pale. After asking the reason, he decided to accompany me to the doctor's private clinic. There was a beautiful nurse who asked us to wait outside. The door of the operating room opened. The old doctor with white hair came to visit. When she saw us, she said hello. When I looked inside, there was a young woman lying straight. Her pale face was so scary. I couldn't help but shout out. The doctor closed the door of the operating room after hearing it. A quarter of an hour later, the woman came out with the help of her companion. Her body was swaying like a willow covered by Lin Feng. Tong Yudo couldn't help asking him if it was painful. He seemed to shake his head. But he was powerless to answer. The woman who supported him rolled her eyes at Tong Yudo. For several minutes later, the doctor opened the door and asked me to go in. I stood there by myself, not daring to step over the threshold. Tong Yudo's eye sockets seemed to be sunken. He didn't say a word, but instinctively wanted to hold me. I suddenly felt brave and comforted him that it was okay. I was in good spirits. The doctor pulled me in without saying anything and closed the door of the operating room at the same time. Tong Yudo was blocked outside. I trembled again. The doctor kindly said not to be afraid, and it was not painful. I had no choice but to sit on the operating chair with sweaty hands. He put my hands. My feet were tied up. I couldn't help but scream. Good child. He lovingly stroked my head, 
and said that it was a woman's misfortune. You should pray more in the future. May the Lord give you happiness and peace. I nodded with tears in my eyes. I murmured a prayer, pious. In fact, I never believed in any religion. When it came to the critical moment, I had to beg God. The doctor came to get the needle and medicine. I said, please don't leave me. The doctor came and said, I'm always standing by your side, don't worry. So I smiled. He stared at me with pity. After a while, he leaned over and whispered to me, smart lady, I hope you will never be fooled by men again. I am an illegitimate child. My mother is very distressed by this. So I chose this profession. As he spoke, he injected me with anesthetic. Please count. One, two, three, four. I closed my eyes and counted one, two, three, four in my mouth. Count more heavily. This was the last time I heard his voice. I only felt my heart beating, and my whole body was hot. I only counted to 75 or 76, and then I lost consciousness. I couldn't even hear the world turning upside down. When, when I woke up slowly, I whispered to the doctor, I am so happy to see you, doctor. We are speaking English. I didn't even make any mistakes in grammar. After saying it several times, it was as if the doctor opened the door of the operating room. Tong Yudo walked forward with a dead look on his face. I burst into tears when I saw him. I cried for no reason, but my tears flowed like rain. Later, it seemed that the nurse was wiping my tears. Tong Yudo stared at me blankly. He never spoke. I tried to sit up. It was dark. I fainted. I fell down again. Then the doctor told me to take a rest. Soon Tong Yudo called a car for me. We went home. Fate was just a joke. When I got home, I saw Colonel Z waiting there. Tong Yudo reluctantly greeted him. He thought we had something to say, so he left. I slept quietly in bed. Are you not feeling well? He asked tenderly. Why are you so pale today? It's terrible. I didn't answer. Where did you go just now? I rushed there after getting off the car this morning. Dong Yang Nian Yang. Your note was handed to me. It really made me anxious. I still had nothing to say. Do you hate me? Oh, I really shouldn't have done that. He said helplessly, Honey, do you think you can still forgive me? No, never, never. Then, then I have no choice. He stood up and seemed to want to walk out. Wait a minute. I scolded him harshly. He thought he still wanted to stay. He walked up and tried to hold my hand. I quickly pulled my hand back and said, I was just about to tell you something. I'm going to report the whole thing to you. Commander, you are such a bad soldier. You forced a woman and made her pregnant. Is it true? He leaned over and asked in surprise and joy. I said seriously, it is true. But today she had an abortion. He stamped his feet and sighed, saying it was a pity. I sneered and said nothing. I know that their commander loves to talk about old morals, such as loyalty, filial piety, benevolence and righteousness. Although he has five or six concubines, he does not allow his subordinates to act rashly. Not long ago, it was said that an officer favored his concubine and killed his wife. His wife cried to the commander's wife. The commander was furious when he heard this. He scolded the officer and forced him to divorce his concubine. He lived with his wife wholeheartedly. After a month or two, the officer and his wife went to the top of a mountain together. His wife fell down the mountain and died. There was no third person around. The commander thought that he must have pushed his wife down on purpose. He did not ask any questions and ordered him to be shot. He was a warlord. I believe he knew how powerful he was. Dear, you spent a lot of money this time. Of course, I should be responsible for this. He said, not very generously. A man wants a woman for money. A man wants to break up with a woman. It is also money. If you pay money, you can wash away all sins. You will have no regrets forever. But I need money. I suddenly laughed. Then I asked, that's great, how much money are you going to give me? The bleak autumn has passed again. Because I have some money, I don't have to worry about life. So I thought about the emptiness of the spirit again. I felt so sad. Tong Yudo gave me a pot of red chrysanthemums. I suddenly felt like writing a poem with the title of Wanju. The seven character quatrain describes the haggard autumn light, the lonely falcon god. How many people cherish the flowers with true feelings? After Yuan Ming left, the sound of the soul was awakened. The lonely east fence faced the wild man. The poem was finished. Who is the so-called Yuan Ming? 
So I imagined a man holding a cup in his hand, talking with friends all day long, and being elegant and elegant. He was so graceful. He wanted to finish, but didn't dare to. Infinite emptiness, endless loneliness. The chrysanthemums were withered. Kanjian suddenly brought Yuan Yuan to my apartment. Yuan Yuan was wearing a shabby robe. The scene was very rare. His shoes were narrow. It seemed a little painful when he walked. He looked at me straight in the face, as if in a dream. Soon he smiled again, an angelic smile. Sean told me that Miss Chun Yu had to hold a wedding with Sean because she was pregnant. Since the wedding, except for Sean, all the family members regarded Yuan Yuan as a thorn in their eyes. Soon they also dismissed the old mother on the pretext of something. He ran around with a child, knocking on the door in the alley. But I just pretended not to hear him, and refused to let him in. Sean couldn't stand it, and had several fierce quarrels with her. In the end, there was nothing I could do. I regretted what I did in the past. He said quietly, please, for the sake of the child, take him in with you. I agreed, without hesitation, and without conditions. Although winter is cold, my heart is warm. Lingling is as beautiful as a flower, wearing the light red woolen sweater and dancing clothes given by her aunt, as if a princess has descended to earth. Yuan Yuan's round face is red from the cold, and it is like a lovely apple eye, staring at me with a burning black glow. When I fell asleep at night, his eyelids gradually closed, and then he held my hand tightly again, as if he was afraid that he would be tortured by his stepmother again if he lost me. Poor child. I want to train smart wives and good husbands for the next generation of young people. I will do my best to educate Lingling and Yuan Yuan, so that they can each become a good wife and a good husband in the future. Although I have never received true love myself, I believe that my children will definitely have it, and they are willing to give to others, not as selfish as me. I want to bless them. I forgive all those who have wronged me, and I also hope that those I have wronged can forgive me. Life is so meaningful. All right, this part of the story ends here. Want to know what happened next? Let's listen to the breakdown next time.